Hi everyone! This is a video tutorial to help you with predicting products for an E1 reaction using the rules that I gave you in a previous video. So if we take a look at this reaction that we're given, the first thing you want to do is verify that it is in fact an E1 reaction. Remember, E1s will happen for tertiary, benzylic, or allylic alkyl halides. In this case here, we have benzylic. That doesn't automatically mean, mean that you're going to deal with an E1. It could be E2. So the next thing you look at is the type of base that you're using. In this case here, we've been given water. Water is a weak base, and weak bases prefer or favor the E1 reaction. When predicting product, remember, the first thing you do is look at the regioselectivity. So the first thing you need to do is identify the alpha carbon. The alpha is the one attached to the halide. All other carbons are beta. I didn't list this one as beta because it doesn't have a hydrogen to spare, and the beta has to be able to lose a hydrogen. So these are the only two beta carbons that actually matter for us in this E1 reaction. If this one is the active beta carbon, then it would lose a hydrogen and we'd form an alkene right here. Alternatively, if this is the active beta, this is where we would form our alkene. So now we have to take a look and see which of these two is more stable. So they're both conjugated. It's both double, single, double, double, single, double. But in this case here, we have a more substituted alkene than we do in this case. So this here would be the major product that we're looking at. So we're looking at this guy. The next thing now is the stereoselectivity. So I'll take this alkene as I have it, and I will draw it in its two possible conformations, the E isomer and the Z. We know that in an E1 reaction, the E isomer, where the bulkiest groups on either carbon are opposite one another, will always be the major product. So this here would be the overall major product that we would see for an E1 reaction. And that's an example of how you predict the product.